Hey guys. Okay, so this is totally annoying. I filmed this video already and then I uploaded it to YouTube and YouTube stole half the video and there was only four minutes of it when really I'd filmed 11 minutes. So instead of putting just putting the four minutes on, I'm just going to refilm the video again because I've rejuvenated myself. I went back and did what I was doing, work, blah, 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 and now I'm back and I'm going to do it. So the video is drugstore makeup that I like, drugstore makeup that Ruby likes, um, Duke doesn't care, but let's get started. All right, I have two foundations that I pulled out that I'm liking and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you them. Okay, so one of them is the Quo Age Excellence Foundation. You're going to get this in Canada um, from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's like the Shoppers Drug Mart brand. Um, I, I think this is like around like $30, but you know, I say this all the time. You can get like Quo at 40% off on some Saturdays and Sundays and stuff, so you'd want to get it then. But it, it has like pretty good coverage. It's not super, super full coverage, but it's got like a creamy finish and it feels really good on the skin. It's nice and light, so this is a, a nice foundation. And the second one, this one was sent to me, but um, I'm not telling you I like it because of that I genuinely do like it. And I'm actually going to make a video called products that were, I'm going to make a tag, products that were sent to me that I would repurchase. And this is definitely one of them. It's um, the NYX HD Studio Foundation, high definition, mineral enriched, talc free and paraben free. But I like it just because it's like, feels nice on the skin. It looks nice on the skin. And um, it's just good. I'm wearing it today, but I just, I really like this foundation. So this is definitely a drugstore buy that if you are into drugstore makeup, I would pick up. So that's a good one. Next, I know I showed this before. It's a uh, glow all the way infused with 24 karat gold doll face, face and body luminizer. Um, yeah, so you can use this as like a highlight on your cheek, but what I like to do is I just take like a little bit of it and I'll mix it in with my regular moisturizer. And um, if I'm wearing a dress or something like that, I'll put it on my shoulders and around my collarbone and everything. So just diffuse it a little bit because it is quite um, pink and quite strong. So if you just mix it up with some, some moisturizer, it's not as intense um so that's a little trick that i like to do with it it's um it's really pretty it doesn't have too much of a scent though so there you go all right next um i think you can only get these in europe or in england even i'm not sure but these are the girls allowed um nicola lashes and they're sort of like the demi whisper lashes from ardell I don't know if you guys are getting... Oh, there you go. Um, they're sort of winged out on the corners, and I think that they look really pretty on. If you feel like this is too long, like it's too long in the corners, you can just go ahead and like cut off a couple um, little pieces here and then just wear them or whatever. That's what I do sometimes. All right. Um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. These things are awesome. They sell them at Save on Foods, in at some of the Save on Foods in Vancouver, but this one is in Ice Mocha 617, and I like this color. So I'll just go ahead and sometimes I'll just wear this on its own so I'll just put it all over my lid with my finger and just blend it out and then put some mascara on and that'll be the end of it if it's just a whatever sort of situation but it just looks pretty it's got like a nice sheen it sort of looks wet you can apply a little bit of eyeshadow over top of it if you want it to um, you know stay longer or whatever but sometimes I just like that really glossy finish so this is good the white ones really nice too in milk if you can get a hold of it and um, yeah Next up is Sleek Luminous Press Powder with SPF 15. It looks like this. It has a bit of shimmer in it, so you have to be um, wary, or wary of that. But um, I like it, but I usually just put it like here. I don't put it all over my whole entire face. But I do like this one. So UK product as well, the Sleek ones. I also have another thing, another couple things from Sleek that I like. These are the same product, but um, it's called the Pout Polish SPF and they have SPF 15, but I don't just like these for my lips. I actually like them for my cheeks as well. So I have um, this one in this pink color. Oh, it looked like there was a hair, but it's not. And also in this um, color called Scandal, it's the 960, um, and it's quite red, as you can see, but if you just take like a tiny little bit of it, um, and as you can see, it's like so vibrant, but if you work it out into your skin you just really just need like the tiniest little bit like I even put too much on you'll see that it gives you like a really pretty pretty glow and um, it's oops wrong there you go it's just it, it won't move off the skin so it's it's really nice it's like really thin so this is these are great um, and really worth the money. It's nice when you have the same lip and cheek sort of stain going on. So I really like these. I like to get my hands on some more. 
Okay, next up, I know I've talked about this before, but it is a great product. It's the Sally Hansen Duo in uh, Pink Luster Natural Highlighter. And this is one of my favorite highlighters. I said um, this on Blog TV yesterday. So it's a total mess. It looks like this, but um, I just, I mix the two colors together. So I take a bit of pink and a bit of the white, and then I'll just sort of blend them together. And it's just like right there. It just gives you a really natural highlight. It's not really um, super glowy or super too shimmery or anything like that. It's just a really nice sheen. So this is a good one. Oops. Everyone knows I'm a big Burt's Bee fan. So I love the Burt's Bees um, Replenishing Lip Balm. They smell good. They feel good on your lips. And sometimes, like, if I have... Um, a hangnail or anything like that I'll just take a little bit off the top and rub it on my hangnails <laughs> it seems to um, make them feel less like painful or anything like that no I've said this before but I'll say it again I get asked every blog TV what's my favorite drugstore mascara and the answer is Rimmel Lycra Lash 60% more length and 50% more curve looks like this and I just I just think that this is a good drugstore mascara I mean it's it's a good mascara period um i think for everybody it's just different depending on like what you like for me i don't like anything i have so many eyelashes that i don't like anything that's like makes them really too much thicker because i feel like it makes them clump together so for me i like things that like lengthen and separate and i feel like this is a great mascara and that this really does it and i think it's about seven dollars so you know you, when you throw it away you don't feel like you've just spent you know a whole ton of money and um you don't feel super super bad about it so i like that all right, next up is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer and the Maybelline Mineral Powder Concealer. I like both of these. Um, this one I prefer for under, I like them both for under my eyes, but this one's really great for underneath your eyes because um, it's a bit more moisturizing. This one's a bit drier, but it does work nicely underneath your eyes. And um, this one's also really good for covering like any spots or anything that you have on your face. I find that it like dries nicely, almost like a powder. So. Um, yeah, mineral power. Yeah, so it, this is really good. Both of these are really good products and definitely worth um, the price that you get them at the drugstore. And I always like to find the sales. Like, that's the good thing about um, drugstore stuff is that they go on sale, and I love a good score. Um, okay, two more drugstore things, and then I want to show you guys the Smashbox um, thing that I just got. So, Wet n Wild, I'm wearing this today on my eyes. It's the 246 Greed. Hi, Rubies. Um, and it looks like this. So there's like, you know, these um, three on this side are all matte and then these ones are sort of shimmery colors, but they're really pretty and they go on super nicely and um, for like a fraction of the price of what you would pay for higher end um, shadows. So something like this is great. And then same with the uh, Maybelline quads. They have a thing on the back that shows you like what to do. So not that you guys don't know what to do. I'm sure you do. All right. And then lastly for this... Um, um, the drugstore stuff. I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so this is the um, uh, Lancome Art Liner. All right, so I'll just go ahead and oh darn it, I pulled it out in a green um, or a gold sort of color. But anyways, that's the line that you get from this stuff. All right, and it's fairly expensive. This is a very expensive liner, and then this is the um, L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black um, Liner Intense. So I'll just draw a line like right beside that, so you can see. Um, these two products are like, hold on, are exactly the same, okay? They are identical products. And like, I mean, literally, they are exactly the same product. And one is like five times cheaper than the other one. So I would not buy um, the Lancome one again. I don't think you should. I don't think it's worth the money. Um, I'm not a huge fan of L'Oreal products, but I think that this one's a really great product and a definite good score and a good find. It's really easy to, to maneuver along the lash line and it's fairly easy to um, wing out. And if you screw up the wing, you can just like take a little bit of uh, makeup remover and clean it up yourself anyway, so who cares, right? So this is good. Okay, then, um, remember I was telling you guys that my boyfriend bought me the um, Smashbox palette when I was having the uh, allergic reaction, and it was so funny because so many people were like, you're having an allergic reaction, and you end up walking out of Shoppers Drug Mart with a new Smashbox palette, and it's true, I was having an allergic reaction, and um, I was in hives and everything, but I was like, wow, this is really pretty, and it is such an amazing palette. So anyways, I guess like, 
my boyfriend was in Chopper's Dog Mart and he saw this thing. For, he's actually pretty good at like, you know, getting me makeup stuff. It's really sweet. But um, he saw this like Smashbox box and um, he picked it up for me. So this is what it looks like. You guys have seen these Smashbox boxes, right? We always get them at Shoppers. Um, they sort of come in seasonally, I think. Um, this one didn't come with a brush, but normally they do. Anyways, I'm just going to, oh, okay, the price is $78 for this thing. I feel like I work for Smashbox. This is two videos in a row that I've talked about them, but I promise you I don't. I would, I would admit it. Um, okay, so firstly, it comes up, uh, comes with the uh, photo op under eye brightener. So everything's full size too, which is crazy because um, like just two of these things would come out to, two or three things would come out to $78 easy. So, and you get eight, which is nuts. Okay, so you get the photo op. Then you get the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Lumi um, Luminizing Oil-Free Foundation Primer. So this looks like so dark. You're like, really? This is a foundation primer? Because anybody that's like got pale skin would be like, that's pretty major, major. But, so you see that on my hand. I'm like thinking, really? But when you actually like blend it out, it disappears. So it's like not even there. So that's not... Um, so that's kind of cool, even though I still have to say that when anything's got like shimmer in it as a primer, I always only put it on my cheeks and then I'll put like a regular primer everywhere else. So maybe I'll put the shimmer, like the shimmer, I'll spot shimmer parts, um, primer like here and here, maybe like one tiny spot here and then maybe like one or two tiny spots right here because I have drier skin and then the rest I'll like do like um, in a matte or um, just like a cream based primer nothing with shimmer in it okay next um it came with this oh, it's so beautiful i'm obsessed this matte um blush like a blush duo so there's two different colors but you can just rub them together if you want or you can just wear um, one color or the other color but they're so pretty and i love it and also has um a mirror on it which is great so that looks like that um next it came with a full length or full size hyper lash mascara and I really love the the size of the handle on it. It's got a huge, huge handle. So that's the uh, mascara wand there, which is nice. Um, it also came with these are so pretty, and they're really similar to some of the colors that are in the the Smashbox palette for this summer season. But these are all sort of um, shimmer or matte colors, and just I I love these like soft feminine pretty colors. So I'm obsessed with obsessed with these so it's just sort of like a cream based color a sort of mauvey color and then like a plum and then a really light um sort of soft pink um that is really pretty and they are very blendable so maybe i'll just sort of that's the pink the purple the mauve and the cream so they're just beautiful colors. All right, and I'm just gonna rub that into my hands and make myself all dirty, because I'm a dirty girl. And I uh, lick my brush. Um, I had a comment, somebody said that Bobbi Brown actually licked her brush on a like um, the Home Shopping Channel or something like that, licked her brush and then like um, did somebody's eyeliner with it. And they're like, even Bobbi Brown, so they said to somebody like, even Bobbi Brown licks their brush or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, wow, you see? It's like, people just don't admit it. Oh, I think I read it in the comments on Makeup by Mel's Confessions video, which by the way is a hilarious video and you should watch it because she's so funny. Okay, also it came with um, a limitless eyeliner, so just a cold pencil which is nice it's sort of like a black charcoal color but what's so cool about this thing is it has its own pencil sharpener every single liner should come with its own pencil sharpener i swear it's so awesome okay then it came with um, a reflections high shine lip gloss which you guys know i love and i'm obsessed with it makes your lips so glossy hold on okay look not glossy So glossy. All right, came with that, and then lastly, it came with is that everything? Yeah, and then lastly, it came with this um, Smashbox lip enhancing gloss in 
the color tempt which is a super pretty color too it all just the colors all just play into each other so you can see that this is a really gorgeous color so i was super excited about that for 78 dollars. i thought it was a really good deal and you get so many things basically all you need is a foundation besides that and you would have like your whole face and you could do so many different looks with just this um thingy okay i gotta go because this is gonna cut out love you guys bye